This is the modern periodic table. 118 elements are arranged in the periodic table in a very systematic manner. There are some properties which are related to these elements which define the way in which these elements react. Since the elements are arranged in a very well organized manner, even these properties follow some particular trends. Let's see how. One such important property that is related to the elements is their ionization energy that can be abbreviated as IE. It's also known as ionization potential. Ionization energy is the energy required to remove an electron. So the electrons move around the nucleus of an atom. So to remove an electron requires some energy. This energy which is given to the atom to remove an electron from a neutral gaseous atom. We talk of gaseous atom because we want to say that the atom is isolated. In liquid or solids, it is related or it is associated with some other atoms. So we do not talk of the liquid or the solid atoms. So to specify that the atom is isolated, we say that the energy required to remove an electron from a neutral gaseous atom. And since we remove an electron, it converts it into a positively charged ion. Since we are taking a gaseous atom, so it converts it into a gaseous ion. So to remove an electron from an atom requires energy and this energy is known as the ionization energy. So there's an atom, you provide it with ionization energy and this helps to remove an electron from the atom. When this electron is removed, we are left with a positively charged ion. So let's see how this ionization energy varies in a periodic table. We, we know that atomic size decreases on moving from left to right in a period. Also, atomic size increases on moving from top to bottom in a group. So when we move from left to right in a period, the atomic size decreases. That means the outermost shells are pulled with a greater force towards the nucleus. Since the outermost shells are very close to the nucleus, so it requires a lot of energy to remove the electrons from this shell. Since now the energy required to remove the electrons increase, therefore the ionization energy on moving from left to right in a period increases. So let's revisit how the ionization energy varies in a period. We know on moving from left to right in a period, the atomic number increases. As the atomic number increases, there's increase in the nuclear charge of an atom. This increased nuclear charge tends to pull the outermost shell closer to the nucleus, so the atomic size decreases. As the atomic size decreases, electrons are held tightly to the nucleus, and therefore we require greater energy to remove the electrons from the atom. And since the energy required to remove the electrons increase, that means the ionization energy increases when we move from left to right in a period. In a neutral atom, we take magnesium. It has electronic configuration 2A2. In a neutral atom, the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. So this is for magnesium. Now, if we remove one electron from the magnesium atom, we get a positively charged ion, Mg+, plus which has electronic configuration 281. Now in this case, the number of protons is one more than the number of electrons. So in effect, the nuclear charge which is exerted by this nucleus on the electrons increases. Since number, the number of protons is now more, it exerts a greater pull on the electrons in these shells. And so overall, the size of the cation decreases. So whenever an electron is removed from a neutral atom, the net effect of the nucleus on the, on the electrons revolving in the shells increase. They exert a greater pull on the shells and therefore the size of the cations decreases as compared to the neutral metal atom. So the cations are always smaller than the neutral atom. Let's say IE1 is the amount of energy required when we are removing one electron from an atom. And IE2 is the amount of energy required to remove the second electron from the atom. So what do you think? Is IE2 more, less 
or equal to y e1 let's see we know when we move from left to right in a period the atomic size decreases due to which the ionization energy increases and right now we saw that the cations are always smaller than the neutral metal atom since the cations are always small so whenever we remove one more electron so the size of this is less the size of this cation would be even smaller so as the size is decreasing the ionization energy is increasing because as the size of cation decreases the outermost shells are closer to the nucleus so it becomes very difficult to remove the electrons so the successive ionization energies that is to remove the first electron this amount of energy is required when you remove the second electron you know that the cation becomes smaller in size and therefore its ionization energy will increase further if you remove the third electron the size of the cation decreases further since the size of the cation decreases further the energy required to remove the electron will further increase and so therefore the successive ionization energies increase in value what happens when we move from top to bottom in a group we know when we are moving from top to bottom in a group the atomic size is increasing this leads to a greater distance between the outermost shell and the nucleus since the distance between the outermost shell and the nucleus is increasing this electron needs lesser energy to be removed since this needs lesser energy to be removed as it is away from the nucleus the ionization energy decreases as the size on moving from top to bottom in a group increases the outermost shell electrons are away from the nucleus so to remove the outermost electrons we need lesser energy and so on moving from top to bottom in a group the ionization energy decreases let's revisit how the, there is a change in the ionization energy when we move from top to bottom in a group so we know that nuclear charge increases when we move from top to bottom also in a group the number of shells increase successively the increased nuclear charge has an effect that it tends to pull the outermost shell closer to the nucleus but the increase in the number of shells overweigh the increased nuclear charge so in effect the atomic size increase due to the increase in number of shells as the atomic size increases electrons in the outermost shell are held loosely since the effect of the nucleus on the outermost shell decreases so to remove the electrons becomes easier and we have to provide it with lesser energy as lesser energy is removed required to remove the electrons so the ionization energy on moving from top to bottom in a group decreases so we have these three elements beryllium magnesium and calcium we have to arrange them in the increasing order of ionization energy let's try to locate these three elements in the periodic table so we have beryllium magnesium and calcium they lie in a group so we just saw that when we move from top to bottom in a group the ionization energy in decreases this is because the distance between the nucleus and the outermost shell increases lesser energy is required to remove this electron from the atom and so the ionization energy decreases so to answer our question we know that these lie in a particular group so from top to bottom we know ionization energy decreases and so we have calcium its ionization energy is lesser than magnesium and its ionization energy is less than beryllium so this is how we arrange beryllium magnesium and calcium in the increasing order of their ionization energy so in a periodic table when we move from left to right the atomic size decreases the decrease in atomic size tends to bring the outermost shell close to the nucleus so it becomes difficult to remove the electrons greater energy is required to remove the electrons and so the ionization energy increases when we move from top to bottom the atomic size increases this tends 
to loosen the electrons which are away from the nucleus. As the electrons, the outermost electrons are away from the nucleus, lesser amount of energy is required to remove them and so the ionization energy on moving from top to bottom decreases.